Hey YouTube, it's your girl Spirit with Sag. We're gonna go in and see what messages Spirit has for you guys. Ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that you come in and allow me to channel the energy surrounding my collective. Please and thank you, Spirit. Archangel Michael, please come down and protect me as I channel these energies. Overall, it's trust. Okay. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Purple for me is intuitive abilities. So you guys are very intuitive and it's time for you guys to start trusting your intuition. Okay, bottom of the dead, purpose. You know what you're here to do, okay? Or you know what you need to do in this situation. I'm getting for some of you, you already know what you need to do in this situation. <coughs> so let's see. All right, spirit, what is this about? What is it about? Yeah, woo, deep knowing. Another intuitive card. It's like the high priestess. There's something that you guys have a deep knowing about. Okay? A, yeah, a change in the wind. Okay? Mending. And then exchanging gifts. Okay. So... There's a deep knowing within you that something has to change. Maybe you were comfortable in this situation. I mean, it doesn't look bad wherever you are. It's not like you're going through anything heavy. It's just old and, and really it's boring and maybe it's really stable. But it's not giving you life. Like, Because whoever you are, I'm, I'm viewing you as the zebra. With the black and white stripes, you're very striking, very um, electrifying. You just have this fiery energy in you, but this thing that you're in, it keeps you put in like a little box. And you've been that way for a long time, and spirits like nudging you that you know there's something that you need to do here. You could be even being drawn to get into your purpose, your spiritual calling. Um, but whatever it is, you know it's time for a change, okay? So then you have this mending here. Mending is all about fixing or um, reconciling. There could be someone that you need to reconcile with or there needs to be some, there's something that you need to put back together, okay? And you have a deep knowing that you, this... You have to come out of this comfortable state. It's time for a change. I feel like spirit wants to exchange gifts with you. And I feel like they are exchanging gifts with you. So it's almost like your crown chakra is opening. Third eye is opening. And the more gifts that they, like the more downloads that you get, you know you got to move. I got to go. I got, there's a deep knowing. I got to go. And so spirit is saying, since you already know this, now it's just time to trust. And trust that your inner voice is always going to guide you correctly. Okay, so let's get the tarot on this and see what this is. <clears throat> Something needs to be put back together piece by piece. Yeah, piece by piece. They are hand sewing this quilt, okay? So that's like great dedication being put in or great detail. Because it takes time to thread a needle and they're sewing a quilt by hand. So let's see what this is. All right, so it's time to wrap up something. Maybe you're getting a message that some, some kind of cycle is complete. Some kind of cycle is over for you. And I feel like it's this situation. See, like I said, you're this zebra, but this house is symbolic to your situation that you're staying comfortable in. It provides stability, it has four walls, it has everything that you need. It's been there for so long, weeds are growing outside of the damn house. But it doesn't allow for you to grow. It doesn't allow for you to be your true self because you have to stand in place so the house don't fall. Because the house is on your back. 
So you can't move freely around and be who you want to be or else the whole thing is going to tumble like a tower. So you could be the person who, if this is a relationship or um, a house situation, you're the person that's keeping it together. So kind of like if you were to lose your job, this shit would fall down anyway. I don't feel like anyone, no one's helping you. I'm getting a 10 of wands right there. So this, this situation may even be rough for you, but you continue to stay because it's stable. You've been there so damn long, okay? Mm. You're getting some kind of message that something's over. And look, it's a marriage with the half in here. Some kind of commitment or marriage. Someone could have told you that they... There's some kind of message that came in here about something being over and then someone else wanting to hold on. Whether this is you or someone else, they're wanting to hold on to this relationship. You could have sent someone a message like, look, this is, it's never a right time to say goodbye. But if I don't go, you got, you're going to start hating me. I really don't feel the same way that I felt that I once felt about you. What's that song by Chris Brown? Right time to say goodbye or something like that. That's what I'm getting here. You've been in this situation for a long ass time and it's just you know with this intuition and deep knowing you know it's time to go. Because this is no longer on your path. With this purpose and will of fortune, you know what it is that you need to do. You know what you're here to do. I just can't do it. Uh, uh, oh. You. Okay, so you're the person that knows you have to leave. But he said, how do you walk out the door and you don't know what's waiting on you on the other side? So you know you need to leave this relationship, but you're scared of what's going to wait, what's waiting for you when you, you know, cross that, when you walk out the door. <clears throat> And I feel like Spirit is saying, you need to look at this from a different perspective. You already know what it is that you're needing to do. Okay? And you can't do it where you where you are. You've outgrown that. That's why the weeds are growing outside of the damn house. You have outgrown this situation. Okay? Ten of Cups here. Empress, Ace, this is what's waiting for you on the other side of this house. When you walk out that door... Of this hierophant, of this relationship, Spirit says, this is what's waiting for you. Empress, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Freaking Cups. Wow. That's major. That is major right there, right there. Devil here. Mm. What else, Spirit? So take the leap of faith. Spirit just showed you what was waiting for you. And, and some of you already know this, that you have someone waiting. Oh, this person's waiting on you. They want to exchange gifts with you. Some of you guys have a purpose together, okay? But um, you, you got to close out this cycle. You got to. And there's fear. And there's fear of doing it all over again, right? Or there's fear of... There's also regret. Is there fear of going towards this empress and regret for what you've chosen to stay in? There's some kind of sadness here with the five of cup energy. Okay, let's see. King of Pentacles. That is the husband to this hierophant situation. Yes, this King of Pentacles needs to get independent, needs to become single. And so you know, okay, yes. In Three of Wands, you need to turn your back on this Hierophant and that, that scares you because you don't know, you know. Ooh, it's scary. Like, yes, Spirit, I see you trying to hand me Empress, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, but I don't know how that's going to work out. Even though this situation is heavy for me, 
at least I'm comfortable. Like, I know what to expect here. I don't know what to expect over here. I don't even know if this person's going to be willing to reconcile with this mending because this mending is going to take time. They're hand sewing this quilt together. But do you see how these two, they're looking up and they're getting guidance. They're hand sewing this quilt. Both of them are looking up, getting guidance from the sky. From their ancestors and spirit guides. This person that you chose to marry, it was all about stability. It's like you married him and it hasn't grown since. You've outgrown the situation, but there's something more. There's something bigger for you. Hence, Ace of Pentacles, Empress, Ten of Cups. The Most High God has something bigger for you, King of Pentacles, okay? And it stresses you out, okay? If I walk away from this, you know, even though it's not the greatest, it's not the worst thing ever, it's just really stable, you know? How do I know that that Empress thing's gonna work out? How do I know that Empress is gonna forgive me for having them wait for so long? Or whatever this person done, they did something, Five of Cups, okay? And they're stressed out about it. Mm. And that it, it, it's just simply the truth. They're, this this King of Pentacles knows that they need to go to their spouse and tell them their spouse that it's over. It's not you, it's me. I got to figure out what I need. There's never a right time to say goodbye. Mm, mm, mm. So we have the chariot and temperance. You need to go towards balance. There could be a Cancer and a Sagittarius involved here. Take it where it resonates. <laughs> but that is the message that you need to be giving this spouse of yours. Yeah, it's just period. Like I said, I don't feel like this is a really toxic situation. It's just you have become complacent and you've outgrown it. And so eventually you're going to get, um, what do you call it? You're going to be miserable because you're not, you're not growing. You're not able to do the things that you, your soul yearns to do. Here it is, Tower, King of Wands. You're needing to take action. It's coming down anyway, just period. I saw the Tower, okay? That shit's coming down because I feel like you've had, yeah, I was just going to say, you've had a long time. You've known for a long time that this relationship that you're holding on to needs to be released. You've known that for a long time and Spirit has given you ample time to become independent. And you haven't. And there's the regret here too. Like you stay stuck in a marriage. Three of Pentacles had another energy waiting on you until now. So maybe the tower has already happened. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the towers already happened and you're stressing like, what the fuck? I don't even know if this empress is going to forgive me. I don't even know what to say to this empress. I don't even know if this is going to work out. It looks beautiful, right? What else, Spirit? Justice. Spirit says it's going to be justice and you know this. Deep down with the high priestess out here three times, you know it's going to bring justice. <laughs> so where's the real issue here page of pentacles someone may not have much to offer after going through this uh tower so seven of cups what's the seven of cups ace of cups and then seven of pentacles king of cups four of pentacles There is a water sign that's trying to hold on to this person. I feel like this is a, like a make up break up type shit. And they always end up going back. But Spirit says, no, dude, you need to complete the cycle and move forward. So this has already happened. Both of this, this King of Cups and this King of Wands. They could be the same person, but I'm feeling like this King of Wands is 
standing there like, well, maybe the King of Cups is going to come back. And Spirit's like, no, that's not what needs to happen. You need to move forward. Because this King of Wands is so used to make up and break up with this because it's a real stable energy. They'll break up, go out there and do their little thing, and then they'll get back together. This is possibly how they ended up having an empress waiting for them. Maybe they met this empress during a time of separation. And so they're still standing here holding on. Oh, well, maybe the King of Cups will come back. Maybe my old partner will come back. Um, that tower, there's nothing to come back to, Spirit says. They are completely destroying it with the, with the world here. Because you were supposed to have been let this go. They're giving you with the Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups, the opportunity to take this love offer to where it's supposed to be going. There's something that you need to do with this person. You guys could become work partners with the Three of Pentacles here. I'm really picking that up. Okay? This may go to from friends to work partners to life partners. All right? Twin flame situation. But Spirit is saying, so, so this King of Wands hasn't made a move toward the Empress because they're like, well, maybe, maybe she'll come back. Spirit says there's nothing. Yeah, they're waiting. Empress, I feel like you were waiting for this person. This person was waiting for this Queen of Cups, uh, uh, King of Cups energy to come back around. And it's not. Spirit has completely tore it down this time. There's nothing to come back to. But here's the thing. This person does love you. Absolutely. But this person's scared of change. They don't even love the person that they waiting to come back. This is it's sad. It's, it really is. Okay? They're used to the person, but they don't love the person. All of the love, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles is with this Empress. But I don't know if that'll work out. I've gotten used to dealing. I know this this may not be the best for me, but I'm used to it. Spirit says, no, nah, change in the wind, bro. And that's what this person's scared of. This king of wands is scared of change. Yep. Because they're being told, world, nine of pentacles, three of wands, turn your back on this situation and move forward. They've been, they've been telling this person that for a while, nine months to a year or more. And this person always ends up going back. Or they just put themselves on hold. And that king of cups go out there and do whatever they want to do. And this king of, of wands sits there and wait. They may flirt a little bit. But then they really are waiting on this king of cups to call them back in. Because that's what they're used to. When spirit is saying with that tower, there's nothing to come back to. And this person is still standing there. Knowing where the deep knowing high priest is all of that, knowing where they need to go, still waiting on that king of cups because that's what they're used to. It's not that they love them or they don't love you. That's not the case at all. This is someone who this could be a fixed sign. A Leo, a Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus. Those four fixed signs fear change. It's yeah, uh, King of Pentacles here. And King of Wands. We got our Leo here uh, and Taurus here. I'm picking up Virgo as well. They don't like change. That's all this is. This person, because that's what spirits say, deep knowing that, that, that a change has to happen. And it freaks this person the fuck out. Even though there was no love in this situation, they knew what time. <coughs> Look, they had a whole schedule. Everything was the same. It was boring. Boring. Bland, plain Jane, but they knew. They had a schedule over here. We get up at 6 in the morning. We get home at 5.30 in the evening. We're going to eat dinner this time. Blah, blah, blah. And every um, 4th of July, we're going to take a vacation for exactly three and a half days. And we're going to do, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing ever changes. And Spirit says, a change in the wind, bro. There's somewhere else you got to be. And you, and you know it. This person has... Their, their purpose is calling for them, and they can't do it as long as they're here. And they've been there so long that the weeds is growing outside the house. Spirit say, you got to bust through this shit, and there's something that you need to go and mend with another person. That other person is this empress. And the only reason that they have not went is because they're scared of change. 
What if it doesn't work? What if she don't like? What if she can't deal with my snoring? Or what if um, this bothers her? What if this bothers me? At least this person knows all my little quirky little, you know, little things that get on people's nerves. This person accepts me for who I am. Even though we don't love each other for real, we accept each other. Spirit's like, no, bro. You got to, there's more for you. This is so simple. Simple dimple. We got Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Empress, Ten of Cups waiting for you. Okay? Baby. So, yeah, they scared of change. Damn. Can't even get the card. Okay. What else we need to see, Spirit? Five of Pentacles. <laughs> Lost. Worry. Feeling abandoned, lack mindset, negative change, struggle alone. This is what this person feels. They scared of change. And that five of pentacles came out on top of that five of cups. Five, five represents change. It is change all over this damn reading with the will of fortune. So they're being forced to do it. What's that? Because it flipped over. Two of cups. Yes. That's what spirit has waiting for this person. Empress, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Two of Cups. So we have something way better for you. But I feel like, okay, so this is the situation. You know, they had their heart set on one person for the, is comfortability a word? If it ain't, it is tonight, okay? Because they was comfortable over there. And, and so much so that they had all these emotions for you, but they suppressed them because this person acknowledging their feelings for you would made them have to change, right? So what did they do? They suppressed the feelings that they had for you so that they could stay in this situation that they were comfortable in. Spirit let this person get away with that for a while and kept giving this person ample time. I'm feeling like this person started to go through things, things started to disrupt that never had disrupted before, and he just was not seeing it. This King of Cups started getting caught cheating. There was a lot of things. Actually, I'm going to pull some energy on it for those of you who give a damn. Okay, if you don't give a damn, you can skip past this little part. But Spirit, this King of Cups started doing things that they had never done before, but it was really Spirit trying to show this King of Wands it was time to let this go. Yeah, they became the worst nightmare. I can't make this shit up. Okay, kept your person always in their emotions, always in their feelings. They started catching this King of Cups cheating with people. It was a lot of shit going on. But the King of Cup, the King of Wands would not leave. Would not leave this person because they were used to it. Even though they was tired of the drama. Even though they was dog ass tired of the drama, they still wouldn't leave. They stayed there, kept getting manipulated, kept getting played, being lied to, controlled. So guess what? Spirit said, dude, I have given you time after time to close out this cycle with the world right here. That's when Spirit hit their ass with a towel. Yeah, because they, he kept putting on the show, acting like he was happy. He wasn't. He was just comfortable. And by the time all this shit started happening, he wasn't even comfortable no more because he done got tired of the drama. But this person was scared of change. Spirit's like, no more of this. We are, we're being our true, authentic selves in the age of the Aquarius. No more can you, can you walk around here putting on a fucking show, acting like everything's A-OK -okay when you know it's not. You have to be your true, authentic self. And your true, authentic self does not align with this situation. That's why it's closed out. It's closing out. So with that tower, this Queen of Cups... Uh, this King of Cups has nothing to come back to. Hell, for some of these people, there is no house. This King of Cups is staying with someone else, and so is this King of Wands. I don't know what happened to the house, okay? Maybe the roof caved in. It was so damn old. Look at the weeds growing outside of the roof. Maybe they needed to replace the roof. They never did. It caved in. I don't know. Something happened here. But it was divinely guided. It was divinely orchestrated. And so there is nothing to come back to. This person has no choice but to fucking turn their back on the situation and go speak their truth. Or stand in their truth. 
Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. It's beautiful. So I feel like, to be honest with you, when they get where they're going, it's like fighting it tooth and nail. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to stay with this. Like, he, there's not even anything to hold on. He's holding on to a thought at this point because the physical shit has disappeared. So what he's holding on to is a thought. And this thought is, is like sabotaging him from all of this yumminess over here. But since spirit tore this down with that tower in the way that they did, they're going to be pushed over here regardless. And guess what? He fighting the whole way. I don't want to do this. I don't want to. But when they get there, they're going to be mad at yourself. They're going to be mad at yourself that they took so damn long. This person's going to be in, in heaven. I'm telling you, they are fighting the most high God tooth and nail right now because they don't want to go. Because this person is stubborn and they're scared of change. But when they get over there with this empress, they're going to hate that they have, they took so damn long. This is beautiful energy. Beautiful. Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Empress, Fool. That's where they're going. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. So when they see that shit, they're really going to be putting in the work here. Because it's, it's everything that they could imagine. See, it was really stable in here. Maybe they had the Pentacles, but the love wasn't there. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, it was not there. And by the time, before that tower came, by the time that tower came, this wasn't even there. Just a house with nothing in it, okay? So, baby, when they finally do get over there, they're going to be like, oh, wow. Yep, they're going to be, this, this exchanging gifts is back and forth, equal give and take. This person's going to be loving this brand new life that they're about to create with this empress. And they're going to be like, why didn't I come sooner? Why didn't I come sooner, God? That's what they're going to be asking God. Watch. Let me get some romance angels here. <clears throat> I'm getting that this person just suppressed. I'm, I'm also getting that when they met you, for some of you guys, this was love at first sight. They knew you were the one. Again, Spirit's telling this person, look, trust is out here twice. Trust, trust. Yeah, that's the, the deception was, like I said, if this person would have acknowledged their feelings for you, then they would have had to do something about it. They would have had to change. This person does not want to change. So what do they do? Suppress their feelings. That's why, that's the whole reason you guys are about to have a reconciliation. You guys are about to reconcile. Piece by piece, put this whole brand new life together. Getting direct orders from the ancestors as they're looking up while they're doing this. What else, spirit? What else we need to see here? Love yourself first. Make the effort. You deserve love. Soulmate. It's safe for you to love this person. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Let go of control issues. This person. Oh, my God. I told you that they were in a situation where there was no love. Spirit's telling this person, you deserve love, dude. But you first must love yourself. Stop staying in situations because you're scared to do this and scared to do that. You know, what they say, scared money don't make no money or some shit like that. Being scared keeps you from living your best life. It keeps you in a box. Something pushed your person to the edge and I feel like it was spirit. And, and also, so now that they have been pushed to the edge... The, those hearts, which is the, the way they feel about you, because Spirit says your feelings are real and worth exploring, is what's making them take a leap of faith toward you. So they've already been pushed to the edge. Like, this person doesn't have a home to go to. That has been wiped clean. So that's already happened. But now, so like I said, that uh, King of Cups is staying with other people, family and friends, or maybe they've moved on with someone else. And that King of Wands is staying with family and friends. But they're about to come and move in on you because of how they feel now. Realizing there's nothing to go back to. This I, I have to do this. This is my, my two of cups. And when they get there, yeah, complete wish fulfillment. It's going to be complete wish fulfillment. You guys are creating a brand new fucking life. Mm, mm, mm. This person is extra stubborn. They have been pushed out their own damn house and they still 
Yeah, they get they're staying with friends and family with this let your friends help you. That's what they're doing. So that that other thing has already collapsed. <laughs> it's already collapsed, and spirits telling them you got deep knowing. You know where you're supposed to be going. You're not supposed to be staying at your homeboy house. No, nah, you supposed to keep going and went over there and reconciled with somebody. Mm-hmm. So anyway, y'all, be on the lookout because I feel like some kind of communication is coming in. Let's see their next move. Spirit, what's this person's next move? Because I saw that page of wands. And they may have, damn, two of cups popped out again. Two of cups with the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Three of pentacles talks about what? Teamwork, collaborations, effort. Huh? That's exactly what's happening. Shared goals, growing, recognition, expansion. This person is wanting to come together for this partnership and collaborate, work together. Mm -hmm. After some time of rest and recuperation, because again, with that nine of wands, they, they went through something horrible. I mean, it was the tower. Okay, because it says this person's having to get their courage back up after a setback. This could be a Leo. I just did a reading. I said Leo's having a huge, uh, I said Leo bouncing up after a setback. If you have Leo or dealing with a Leo, check out that reading. Because I feel like this is, yeah, it's going to be very victorious and successful. This reconciliation, yep. Yeah. It's going to be cause to celebrate. Amazing. Amazing. So, all right, you guys. I just want to make that clear. They weren't holding on because they were so in love with that person. It's the exact opposite. This person was holding on because they are not used to change and don't like change at all. Period. Okay? So, I don't know who's masculine or feminine this is, but y'all do. Okay? So, until next time. Bye.